Question number four is the big one. How do heat pumps actually work? Now, many people explain this using refrigeration theory, and there's some very good explanations online, but I like to actually talk to people about this using a piece of equipment that we're all really familiar with. So everybody has a fridge freezer at home, and a fridge freezer is essentially the same technology that we're gonna use in a heat pump. So if we start with our fridge freezer and we open the door, when we look inside, assuming you've defrosted it recently, um, you can see that there's some little tubes about as thin as your middle finger running backwards and forwards inside your freezer. Inside there is a refrigerant, and refrigerants are wonderful um, fluids which have the ability to absorb enormous amounts of heat. So it shouldn't be a massive surprise to you that if you go home tonight and you take your turkey or a pizza and you stick it into your freezer and you close the door and come back a couple of hours later, that will be frozen solid. So what's happened is the very, very cold refrigerant sucks the heat out of the food that you've put inside. Hot goes to cold always, so the heat from the turkey or your pizza ends up getting sucked away by this refrigerant. Now what happens is once the refrigerant has soaked up a, like a sponge all of the heat, we need to take it outside and recycle it. So we use a thing called a compressor. If you ever hang out down the back of your fridge or freezer, you can hear this thing humming away. And it's usually about the size of a football. It's the black thing at the bottom. Basically, it's a pump, but we in our industry think that we're very clever, so we don't call it a pump, we call it a compressor. So what it does is it squeezes the refrigerant about four to one, and it then pushes it out of the compressor into the coil that runs up the back of your freezer. So again, if you're the sort of person that hangs out around the back of the freezer, like me, you can see there's a black coil on the back. That black coil, if you feel it, is very warm. And the reason is that when you squeeze refrigerant, the heat comes out of it. So what we're doing is we're taking all of that heat that we took from your turkey or your pizza, squeezing it, and pushing that heat out of the coil on the back of your freezer. Once it's gone all the way through the coil and cooled down, we then send it through again inside the freezer to collect some more heat. So it goes round and round and round again. So essentially, if you think about it in a slightly odd way, you are slightly warming your kitchen with turkey power. We are sucking the heat out of the turkey and warming your kitchen up. So now I want to take you on a very, very peculiar journey. If you were, and please don't try this at home, but if you were to take your freezer into the garden and open the door, we would now be cooling the garden instead of your turkey. So we're taking the air from the garden, we're pushing it into the freezer, we're gonna cool the air down, take the heat out of the air into our refrigerant, which is about minus 20 degrees C, and we're gonna suck the heat out of the air. What we're now going to do is push that refrigerant back through the compressor again and out into the black coil on the back. And using a little watering can, we're gonna drizzle water over the back of the black coil on your fridge freezer and collect it in a bucket at the bottom. Now, if you drizzle the water slowly over that coil at the back, you end up with a bucket of lovely warm water. If you then ran inside with the bucket of water and poured it through your radiators, you've now heated your house with the heat from the air in the garden. Now, I could sell you fridge freezers and uh, uh, watering cans and so on, um, but it's a little inconvenient to be running backwards and forwards into the house with a bucket of water. But all an air source heat pump is, is essentially that in a box. So we stop you having to run backwards and forwards within the house with buckets of water. You don't need to get uh, watering cans and so on. Essentially, we suck the air from the garden through our massive freezer in the garden, take the heat out, push it into water, and use that to heat your house. And that is how an air source heat pump works.